Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education 10 Livestream. This is Mom Estrelita Antonio. You are watching Week 2, Lesson 2. Our topic for today is Illusion of Form. What I need to know. At the end of this learning module, you are expected to number 1. Differentiate tonal value and linear marks. Number 2. Practice using the different shading techniques. And lastly, number 3. Understand the importance of applying tonal ranges and linear marks to produce illusion of form in an artwork. Do not forget to have your pen, paper, and module ready. Send a picture of your work on your corresponding GC, and you have two minutes to answer every task here. What I know. Task number one, true or false. Write true if the statement is correct, otherwise false. All right, let us check your work. Here is the answer key. Number one, true. Number two, true. Three, true. Number four, false. Number five, true. And number six, true. Up next, what is in? Task number two, let us review our previous lesson. Fill in the blanks with the correct answer. Choose your answer inside the box. You have two minutes to answer.
Time is up. Let us check your work. Here is the answer key. Number 1, vertical lines. Number 2, horizontal lines. 3, diagonal lines. 4, zigzag glide lines. And number 5, curved lines. What's new? For our task number 3, please answer the guide questions. Write this on your notebook. You have 2 minutes to answer. Number 1. Does direction of light react on the object? Why? Number 2. How can your object create a dramatic or tranquil atmosphere effect into your artwork? Please limit your explanation into two sentences. Let's go ahead and find out the competencies that you will master as you finish this module. Every image is made up of a range of tones ranging from the darkest to brightest area and everything in between. Artists need to understand the effect of light on an object as this helps them create an illusion of form. Value This refers to the lightness or darkness of a color. The value scale bounded on one end by pure white and on the other by black. This gives an artist the tools to make these transformations. The value scale shows the standard variations in tones. Values near the lighter end of the spectrum are termed high key. Those on the darker end are low keyed. Highlight midtones and shadow are the tonal values of different areas in an image. Highlights consist of the brightest areas. Shadows consists of the darkest and midtones lie in between the two. What is linear quality? This refers to the specific kind of mark and includes the line length, mark thickness, curvilinear or geometric suggestions, and the medium used to make the mark. Shading techniques 
there are various types of shading techniques. This can create value in drawing and painting. Those are blending, hatching, cross-hatching, and stippling. Number 1. Hatching This uses small clusters of lines to add shadows and perspective to a sketch. It looks like this. Number 2. Cross-hatching this is an extension of hatching, which uses final parallel lines drawn closely together to create the illusion of shade or texture in a drawing. Cross-hatching looks like this. Number 3. Blending Smooth gradations of value are produced either by adjusting the amount of pressure applied to the medium or by using a blending tool, such as a blending stump. This is the blending technique. And lastly, number four is stippling. This is the process of using small, countless dots to develop an ink drawing. It looks like this. So these are the different shading techniques that you can use in your drawing. So what is more? Let us try using the different shading techniques. Task number four, my two hand shading techniques. These are the materials you will need. Please prepare a short bond paper and pencil. Draw four boxes with two inches by three inches size. Practice the four shaping techniques. Please apply tonal scale to emphasize dramatic impression. This activity will be graded using the rubric. Here is an example. By the way, you can send this activity to your corresponding GC during the follow-up discussion. What I have learned. Task number five, open-ended statement. Please share the things that you learned from completing the given statements. You have two minutes to do this.
what I can do. Task number six, my left hand. Please prepare a short bond paper and a pencil for this activity. And follow the directions. Number one, please draw your left hand. Number two, in every finger, finger draw one by one each of the different drawing techniques. And number three, apply tonal scale value and linear marks to emphasize dramatic impression. Let's have a recap. Assessment Task number 7. Modified true or false Write true if the statement is correct, otherwise change the underlined word or words to make the statement correct. You have 2 minutes to answer this. Let us check your work. Here is the answer key. Number one, true. Number two, false. It should be shadows. Number three, true. Number four, false. It should be hatching. And number five, true. 
Good work, everyone. That is all for our lesson today. I hope you learned something new. Our next lesson is about simple linear perspective and application of colors. Once again, this is Mom Israelita Antonio, your live stream teacher. Class dismissed.